Good morning and welcome back to the vlog. You know, I might be a little bit biased now because it's my new team, but I'm loving this kit and I'm loving training in this kit. I'm just tarting on the sleeve there, but what I like about this kit is it's just so simplistic, it's so plain. And it's going to be a similar style next year. But anyway, over this weekend, well, I think the actual day of my birthday is Monday, but over this weekend is my 21st birthday, which apparently is quite like a big or significant birthday. I don't really know. Originally, I didn't want to do anything for my birthday. I'm not like, like I'm not big into birthdays or anything. I just want to turn 21 and that, that'll be the end of it. But apparently now we're doing something. So I've been told this morning that I've got an hour I've got an hour to train and then I have to go and pick up Georgia from university. I have no idea what we're doing, where we're going, or what's going on or anything. I'm just going to do what I'm told, do an hour, go back home. I'm low-key a little bit sad that I can only train for an hour this morning because it's such a stunning day. The sun's out, we've got blue skies, it's like a nice 11 or 12 degrees temperature. Today though is the first day I've had to wear long sleeve gloves. My crib, sun up, sun down, night in, night out. I'm a cold play like a time out. I'm a go long like a white out. Playing games, so I'm playing with your mind now. So if you didn't watch yesterday's video or to carry on from yesterday's video, next year I'm obviously gonna be racing uh, in, for St. Perrin. And how that came about pretty much was was through Steve. He's gonna be the rider, like the team manager next year. It was his job to decide who he wants to ride for the team next year. And you know, lucky enough that he chose me as one of the riders. It's gonna be an amazing opportunity to race for a UK elite team. And I'm also excited because I'm gonna be teammates and racing alongside a couple of my friends. So yeah, 2018 is shaping up to be a sick year. Like I can't wait to show you what bike I'm going to be riding next year. I think you might be jealous. You're definitely going to be jealous. So St. Perrin, even though it's a team, it's a team based on Cornish Heritage, it's based in Cornwall. The team is also built around an under 23 development team. So no, it doesn't mean I have to relocate down to Cornwall, but I will be spending a large proportion of my time down there. I really, really, really would appreciate it if you guys could go over to their Instagram page. I'm going to put it here. I'm also going to put a link in the description down below. So head over to their Instagram page and give them a follow and just show them like the strength of this nation. They also post some pretty sick photos. I believe the Instagram is run by uh, Joe Harper who does like photography for, for Katusha and she's like a really really good photographer so guys please head over to their Instagram and give them a follow. But with that being said I'm going to set off to Nottingham. I needed to set off like half an hour ago to go and pick Georgia up. I'm already late. Are you off podcast? Are you alright? Yeah good thanks. Could I get a chicken for you a wrap? No problem. Just drive to the window. Cheers. Forgot to get lunch before I set off. Luckily, there's a Costa drive through near my house. I know I'm late, but it's a drive through so it saves time, it's quick. Come on, why are you taking so long? Hey. Thank you. Okay. See you later. Okay. All right, now, let's crack on. Finally. Way out, way out. I have no idea. Do people come? Go, 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 go. Do you want to know how long I've been driving and how long I've been sat in this car, sat on the motorway? One hour. Do you want to know my distance from home, like how far I've traveled? Eight miles. That's eight miles per hour. Like I could have probably ran further than I've driven. I'm not entirely sure what's causing this traffic. Obviously, if there's a crash, then I hope that everyone involved is, is like all right and stuff. And being sat in traffic just gives me time to appreciate how sick of a car this is. I was supposed to be there at two o'clock. Just an hour and a half late. What's, what's the big deal? The weather is heaven and so is this pasta. My outlook is almost as fresh as this lobster. Shit, very fresh. Yeah, eating in the back room, feeling like a motherfucking mobster. Yeah. It's now four o'clock. I made it over to Nottingham. I set off at twelve. That's four hours. Four hours of driving and I've done 18 miles. For you bright sparks watching, you will have worked out that that is an average speed of 20 miles per hour. I could ride that at the same speed. No, nothing. What? <laughs> Say something about the car. Oh, it's lovely. All right, where are we going? Oh, well, I can't tell you. What, what are you allowed to tell me? I'm not allowed to tell you anything. Really? So, yeah. So where are we driving? Where do we drive? I genuinely, <laughs> I don't actually know where we go. Okay, so my favourite feature about this whole car is the acceleration. Like, bearing in mind this is a 1.4 TSI engine. It does 0 to 60 in 6.9 seconds. You ready? <laughs> oh <my God>. oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is insane. Ugh. Four and a half hours of driving. Alright, we've arrived at the postcode, parked up the whip. Just look at that. Look at that. Just zoom in on the wheels. Just zoom in on the wheels. I don't know how to. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anyway, we've arrived at this place. I have literally like, no idea what's going on. We've been told to come here. I'm assuming other people are gonna come as well because like it's just me and Georgia here at the minute. Keys aren't working. No noise to be made between eleven and nine. This is gonna be fun. Oh mate, I actually can't get in. Right, give it here, let me have a go. There you do. <laughs> Oh my god, it's huge. Wow. Is that a cinema room? <laughs> what the f***? <laughs> 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 
there's a cinema room without a cinema. <laughs> well, there was meant to be a cinema room, but a hot tub house. Okay, okay, so here's what I know so far. This this weekend, as I mentioned, is my 21st birthday. And my parents asked me, did I want to do anything like in particular for my birthday? And I said, no. Like, I'm not really into birthdays. I'm not really into parties. I just, you know, it's, it's just, it's another year, isn't it? However, today, this morning, I was told to go and pick George up from university, drive to this location, which is like 30 minutes away from Nottingham, 30 minutes away from her university. And this house is incredibly, like, it's just insane. Georgia let slip that the rest of my family is coming over here now. But let's do a quick room check because I've got a feeling there's, uh, there's quite a few. I mean, why have one coffee machine when you can have two? So we've just been around and counted all the bedrooms and this house sleeps 32, is it 32? Mm -hmm. 32 people. So whilst we're waiting for the family to arrive, Georgia has a... This, this makes me very happy. If anyone knows me, like, I love Millie's cookies. And... Ta da Look at that! This, this is gonna last like... 20 minutes. Yeah, I mean 15 it'll be, yeah, 15 minutes it'll be gone. Right, where's the knife? Come on. No! So this is gonna be home for the next few days. Like, I've no idea, I've said this quite a few times, I've no idea what's gonna be planned for the next few days, but it's gonna be insane. Obviously we've got the bike in the back of the car. We're gonna be doing plenty of riding around the Derbyshire, around the Derbyshire hills, around the Peak District. I'm not sure what's in store for the next few days, but I think it's gonna be insane. straight to the house yeah. and then we go straight to the face and it's loud and we ain't turning shit down yeah. be there be square or you won't be around that fuck shit won't be allowed could you hurry up my feet out <laughs> 